Good morning, welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. Today we're putting together kits for the St. Vrain Anglers Trout Unlimited Social Fly Tying, and we've got a lot of beginners, so I thought I'd pull out a fly that I learned on, a good one, uh, Montana Stonefly. It's uh, out of Jack Dennis's book, Volume 1, and that's what a lot of us old timers learned from. First time I had instructions with color plates. Size 10 hook, uh, 2XL or 3XL, it doesn't matter. Um, just get the size of a hook shank that you want your stone fly to be. Black thread, any black thread will do. So I go ahead and use a little heavier thread, it's easier to work with. Now I've just got a scrap black hackle off the bottom of a cape. And I'm going to come down here where there's still some webbing on it and just peel it away and that's going to give me a bundle for my tail. Little tail's a little less than the length of the shank. I'm going to, with my left fingers here, I'm combing it to keep it right up on top of the hook and I'll come back until my thread is right over the barb and then to make it easier to tie in the black chenille, we'll move forward with our abdomen material. Now this can be medium or small sized chenille depending on the size of stonefly you're going to tie, but stoneflies come in a lot of sizes so why not imitate the biggest ones? Alright, that makes it a little easier to tie it all the way from the front to the back. Now my thread up here right about there is where it's going to transition from black to yellow but I'm going to wrap the black up a little bit farther and you'll see that that gives us a lot cleaner transition makes it neat alright now I'm going to tie this off but I'm not going to trim this black chenille this is going to be my wing case so I'm going to fold it back and jump on it and see if I can get it to lay out of the way while I tie in my yellow chenille. I'm going to pull that back so nothing sticks out over the eye. Try and save yourself some space. And I'll come back right to the black. Now for legs, I've got a brown saddle hackle. You can use grizzly or black. I like black, but I don't have any that's the right size. This looks better when it's the right size. So, <clears throat> go ahead and get you a nice long stem. Again, nothing sticking out over the eye. Now I'm going to bundle all of this stuff up in my left hand while I come back with the thread, and I'm just going to go ahead and climb it right on up until now it's hanging where I told you it would be a good transition. I've left about enough space to uh, make three turns. I nope, only got two turns of yellow, that's alright. Having this little extra space up by the eye is more important than having a long yellow thorax. Now I'm going to wrap my hackle. I'm going to make the first turn all the way around right at the transition from black to yellow. And then get one in the middle. And one at the front. And that's plenty. Now this black is going to be our wing case, so I'm going to start by pushing some of the feathers out of the way so I can get it right over the top and have the same number of legs on both sides. And tie that in right behind the eye. Chenille has that uh, raggy 
appearance with all the fibers in there so it's hard to be clean here but do the best you can to keep that eye nice and clean And there we go, Montana Nymph. Enjoy this one. And fish it. It's, it's, it's an old, old pattern, but it works very well.